Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody's doing well out there today and welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. Much appreciate you guys uh, checking the video out. And today we're gonna continue our uh, environmental or envir en environment series on, on The Fishing Teacher here. We're gonna be talking about sun and clouds and how they affect uh, fish in general and just sort of give you guys a, a basic one-on-one foundation if you're not real familiar with that, about uh, what they do there. So anyway, guys, one of the things that you'll find out about bass, or not bass fishing, just fishing in general, is that weather dictates so much. You know, we've talked about it a lot this week in some of the videos, and it it, it that has a lot to do with their mood and their personality and how willing they are or how aggressive they are to bite because certain weather conditions are a lot more conducive to fish biting better than others. And this is something that it's it's not like it's a set in stone. It's like, it's not like that fish do this, this, this under these conditions. You know, it's always abstract to a certain extent, but uh, the main thing is that you got to have some type of a uh, sort of a starting point with it there. So let's talk a little bit about sun and clouds and the effect that it has on fish. First of all, you can't really talk about sun and clouds unless you uh, talk about water temperature and water clarity. And again, you'll hear me talk about this all the time. Um, because it just, they all three work hand in hand. So I'm going to go through conditions here a little bit. Uh, we'll, let's talk about sunny conditions first, then we'll go all the way to cloudy conditions and, and sort of like what happens during those uh, scenarios. And then, so, so let's say on one end of the spectrum, you have a bluebird day, like sunny bluebird day, and then it goes partly cloudy or maybe light, light overcast, then it goes partly cloudy, a little bit heavy, partly cloudy, and then maybe cloudy and then rain or something like that, you know. So from one end of the spectrum to the other. When you're fishing sunny conditions, um, in general, what it does is it puts the fish tighter to some type of cover. So in sunny conditions, the fish usually like to be around some type of shade. Fish love shade because shade is cover to fish. It's almost like a stump or a brush pile in the water. So if it's sunny, a lot of times bass will be, uh, or not just bass, but fish in general, will be in shady areas. Like if you're fishing for bluegill, they're going to be in the shade of an overhanging tree. So if, if you're fishing, you know, for bass, they may be in the shade of a boat dock. So sunny conditions put bass tighter to cover and put them around cover um, simply, you know, to seek that shade. Now, sunny conditions, what usually happens is that the bass, or the, I keep saying bass, but fish in general, um, it tends to be a little bit tougher to catch them if it's sunny out throughout the course of the year. But um, sun does not affect fish in as negative of a light in cold water. If you're, if you're fishing like, like in you know, late fall through winter, early spring, sometimes like that, sometimes sun can actually help you out because it helps warm that water temperature up and gets the fish a little bit more active. But as, the, as it gets uh, warmer water, like towards the summertime, usually bright sunny days uh, tend to be a little bit tough for fishing. Not all the time, because sometimes you can adjust the techniques and take advantage of that sun. For example, say if you're using the flipping technique around, and you're fishing flooded bushes that have been flooded because of high water, or if you're, say you're flipping uh, boat docks or something like that, a lot of times that can be a positive because you the, the shade created by a bright sun will put the fish in specific areas. So if you're fishing a boat dock, they're all, in the summertime or if the water's warmer, they're always going to be around the shady side of the dock. They're very seldom going to be in the sunny side. So that's one way that you can take advantage of that. Now, if in a partly cloudy scenario, um, it can work either way. It's like partly cloudy, there's there's... A lot of different variables involved with this because again it goes back to the water clarity and the water temperature in general partly cloudy days the fish are um, a little bit more active than they are in sunny days because depending upon the intensity of the partly cloud because sometimes on a partly cloudy day you have just little puffs of cloud up there and, and, it's, and it's sunny most of the time but on a heavy partly cloudy day you'll have uh, the clouds passing, you know, over the sun and then, then it's sunny again. And in those conditions like that, you know, the fish can be all over the place. They can be tight to cover when a cloud is, uh, you know, out of the way. And then if that cloud comes over for, you know, a couple minutes like that, they can actually get out away from that cover and roam around a little bit. 
And overall, you're going to find that partly cloudy conditions are the probably the most consistent conditions as far as the when you're talking about sun or clouds to catch fish in because there's always uh, some fish roaming a little bit and there's some fish tight to cover. They sort of use a lot of different um, uh, you know areas of a, of a body of water. Now cloudy conditions a little bit different because in, in cloudy conditions um, regardless of the water temperature the fish roam a lot more and they don't since the clouds offer some level of security for them, it's almost a, it's a lower light condition. The fish will they'll feel more comfortable about swimming around the areas. I mean, it's say for example, if you're let's go back to the boat dock analogy. Um, there may be you know five fish living under a boat dock and they're tucked into the shade right around the dock. You know, if it's sunny or partly cloudy. If it's a cloudy out or maybe light rain or something like that, a lot of times those bass may swim away from that dock and they may swim out down the bank between the docks to hunt for food or whatever. So in general, you're going to find bass um, more active and biting under cloudy conditions. Most of the time when you have cloudy conditions, unless, it, the, unless it's extremely cold, like if the water temperature is like 40 degrees, most of the time if the water temperature is anything over 45 degrees, you're going to find your best days on cloudy days. So that's why um, I remember one of the, the old time fishermen around here in Missouri named Charlie Campbell, he always said, you know, if you can't catch fish in the rain, it's time to hang your rod up. And what, what he meant by that is that fish roam and they're more aggressive under low light conditions. So um, again, if that's sort of a basic foundation for sun and clouds. But the thing you have to remember about is that and this is one of the reasons bass fishing or fishing in general is so complicated is that that's one part of the puzzle. You, when you're talking about sun and clouds, you, you can't have that discussion unless you include like the, the wind speed, the wind direction, the water clarity, the water temperature, the current. There's a lot of factors that determine into that. But we all have to begin somewhere. Um, like I said, when I started fishing, I didn't know anything about sun and clouds, what it did to fish. So I hope that if you're getting started in fishing, that that sort of gives you a uh, sort of a foundation to build on and we'll keep working on it here on the channel. So thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to y'all later.